Well, what brought me to this project was um, the way that I see Detroit portrayed. Sure, there's a lot of things going on, you know, that are negative, but there's so much positive. And uh, I wanted to develop a project that was for Detroit, about Detroit, and using all Detroit musicians. It's been known over the years that Detroit produces some of the top artists anywhere. You know, it, the list is just so long not just in jazz but in rock and, and pop and um, you know so I'm not surprised when when I meet people and artists and and they're from Detroit because we have this uh, swag you know the Detroit swag so I think that that uh, Detroit not only has um, the swag with um, with musicians and, and music and uh, the whole Motown sound which which just influenced the whole generation and uh, has just been phenomenal but also with the the car industry and uh, clothing style and um, there's a lot that um, that Detroit brings we're uh, to be proud of the name of the project is uh, basically it's just Althea Renee live in Detroit I'm doing like a lot of songs from the previous five CDs that I recorded and so I'm picking special songs that have special meaning and um, and kind of uh, remaking them, uh, re-recording them and, uh, but updating them and um, I've got um, a team of just, a, just the baddest musicians and I'm really excited about this project and I know it's just gonna um, it's gonna put Detroit in a good light I first started thinking about doing a live project um, when, be, because of the fact that you know you always want to do something better than what you did before, and this was this is my sixth project, and I wanted to do something different than what I've ever done, and I also wanted to challenge myself because um, it's actually easier to go in the studio and record uh, a CD because you can take the time to um, lay tracks and then listen to them and if you don't like it go back and change it but when you do a live project um, it takes the utmost focus you have to focus on everything and I really wanted this kind of a challenge I wanted to be able to uh, to do this and it's been really exciting and um, I, I just it's like an adrenaline rush the the, the whole process and it kind of takes on a life of its own because you don't really know what is ultimately going to come out. You know, you've got this one night to go in there and, um, and play and, and record a CD. And so that's really exciting and I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I've been able to uh, endorse um, a few different products and right now um, I have a Althea Renee Diamond Series flute which is a um, Swarovski stone studded flute that's just uh, gorgeous and I'm going to be um, debuting that and I'm also going to be uh, playing a solid gold flute. So my dad um, being you know one of the um, funk brothers in the horn section that was something that I was really influenced by uh, growing up and um, hearing, um, hearing a lot of Motown and uh, I was just really influenced by the sound and the type of soul and um, it has really influenced my sound. I got started um, with uh, playing the flute when I was uh, four years old. After trying a few different instruments, um, I just kind of um, found the flute and, you know, actually my older sister played and she didn't really care about it. and so. I picked it up and that's it. And it's probably the only thing I've done for my entire life. 